All right, so what I'll do is we've got this uh, tension specimen, 15 pounds. Our compensator is set at zero, and what I'm going to do is start rotating it so that we can see the, the changing of the black. And what you'll see is the black starting to converge on that point. We're already seeing it starting to converge. And for the tension specimens, it's really easy to see. Mm -hmm. uh, for bending, it's a little more difficult to identify. Now, this is where the experience comes in. It's like, when do you stop? I mean, it's, it's black right now, mm -hmm. but when do you stop? But for, this, for the tension samples, it works well when you let it converge on something like... I'm kind of going back and forth, I don't know, somewhere in there. Okay. And right now, that would be, I think, a pretty good place to, to, to measure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about the software in general now. So how do we take this and get the stress strain values? Okay, first of all, we're going to go across the top. There are these different tabs. The first tab is the image, which just lets you view uh, the image. Next, we're going to go to the project. Now, the project is where you're going to specify, and I have two of them, two projects created, one for doing tension and one for doing bending. So right now it's on bending, so I'm going to switch over to tension. And I'm going to get rid of, there, there will only be two when this is done. I'm working through some issues, and so it will just say tension or bending. Okay, next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm going to show you some of the setup but you don't have to do this. So the plastic, this is where you indicate the plastic that is on the structure. Now today we just have a plastic that is also the structure. So I've got everything set and the things that you're setting in there is you're selecting the material which indicates it's Young's modulus, it indicates it's Poisson's ratio, um, and then what's called the K factor and that indicates what the strain is based on the amount of, of, of color. It's a property of the material that dictates what the strain is based on those color patterns. Okay, the next one is the structure. Now the structure is where if you have a steel part, you would indicate it's steel, and then the software knows the Young's modulus value of it. In this case, we are indicating a plastic, which is that plastic, and again, none of this you'll have to change. The next tab is uh, the points. Now. It's conceivable that when working on a part like this, you might be interested in, in calculating the strain and stress at multiple points. So on the left side of the hole, on the top of the hole, on the right, on the bottom. And so this tab is going to have a list of all these different points that you want to work on. We're only looking at one point, the left or right side of the hole. And so you'll notice it's already set up such that there's only one point. And underneath that, there are four different load values at which we're going to stress this part. Mm -hmm. So based on the document that I gave you, it was 15, 30, and again, the students don't have this information yet, so you have to give it to them, 40 and uh, 50. Okay, there's nothing else on this tab you'll have to change. Now we're ready to test. Oh, by the way, um, there's a drop-down box here. There will only be one value there. If you are curious, back in the project, when you have uh, the project for tension, and in that you can create several different tests. So in a single project, you can have multiple tests. We're just running one test. And that is, that in that test, we're looking at one point, and we're measuring at four different load values. To, uh, the points just to reiterate we've got our four loads that we're going to do and now we're ready to test okay when we start a test we always want to have the compensator at zero so I'm going to return that back to zero over on the left hand side of the software we see a summary of what we're doing uh, notice that at this point underneath the load category it says that there's no load the first thing that we have to do <clears throat> is we have to take a, a snapshot, so to speak, of the part at zero pounds. Some parts might have residual stress in them, even with no load on it. 
And so what we have to do is we would have to take the compensator and, and find the, the setting that makes it in color pattern go away. For us, we're not, there's no stress in it when the load is zero. So all we have to do is leave the compensator at zero. And for our first point right now, even though the system is under load, I'm not even gonna look at that. I'm just gonna say, if it were under zero load, everything would be black, compensators at zero, this needs to be my first input. And to do that, we're gonna hit this uh, little lightning bolt that is underneath the R0, uh, so this R0 field. We're gonna hit this lightning bolt, and what it does is it records this number, which for our first scenario, no load is always gonna be zero. So Why don't we do it when there's actually no load? Okay, because with this zero on it, we should do that. Just it, this is confusing. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to take the load off. Close enough to zero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, remember this software has no idea what's going on yeah. with yeah. this. I'm still doing the same thing. Oh, this is on zero, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hit the little lightning bolt. Okay. So, again, does that make sense how it doesn't matter what's going on over there? Because all I'm doing on this first setting is I just want this to be zero and I want to record that. Let's, let's yeah. move on, it. I think it'll, it'll be okay. Alright, so as long as you are good with that being zero, this is zero, and now we hit the lightning bolt by R0. Now notice what happened. The software automatically updated to go to the next point of load that we had indicated of the 15, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, so at this point, we no longer are going to be hitting the flat, uh, lightning bolt by that R0. Now we're going by the R load, and R comes from the calculations that you can find in the user's manual that uh, goes into calculating stress. When you hit this lightning bolt, what does it do? It just takes a, no, it calculates? All it does is it records this number. It's, what is this 0.25? Okay, that's from the previous, remember that 0.25 when R0, that's from the previous lightning bolt capture. Okay. It's a calculation based on what this, that's this <laughs> number is not gonna be reflected here. Okay. So at this point, what we need to do is set the machine at 15 pounds. So I'm going to try to get it at 15 pounds. Oh. I'm trying to be fast about it, but I guess I need to. Okay. Went over a little bit. Now at this point, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll adjust the compensator until... We converge on black on the point we're interested in, which in this case, let's look at the right-hand side. It'll be the same as the left, but okay. once which, we're good. So which part are you focusing on? Ah, this? right here. The black things? Yep, okay. right there. That's the point we're interested in. Okay. Looks like the black has converged upon it. So okay. at that point, now I'm going to hit this lightning bolt. It's going to record the compensator value. Notice that it moves on to 30 pounds, yeah. and so we take 30 pounds here. One point of you go ahead and adjust the compensator. Yeah, just try it. If it goes down, you're going the wrong way. Goes up. Pretty 
right? He's like, just keep going, go past, see what it does when you go past it. Oh, okay. So, something like that. Okay. It's, isn't it so sub subjective, right? It is. It is. Yep. I mean, I can just do a little bit more and I can say, oh, this is the point. Yeah. So just, it's, yeah, I don't know. But now, these numbers, one thing to, to make you feel a little bit better, these numbers on the compensator, they change fairly slowly. Mm -hmm. So you have some wiggle room in there, yeah. But you're right. Man, you're from something on those day, the point, but around it is changing a lot, it can just yeah. confuse you. Yeah, we want to see that black converge on that point. I actually think it's pretty good where you have it. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah, okay. let's go with that. So go ahead and hit the lightning bolt. Yep. Okay. It's reminding us to go to 40 pounds. It's kind of neat, you can see the changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Do you want to set the compensator for this one? Let it converge a little more. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I, I can go to saying it's, it's subjective. That's where the yeah. experience is. It's an art form. So. Well, yeah, I would mm -hmm. say just go ahead and click it. Okay. You want to do the go up to 50 pounds? Do this kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, again, I don't know if I always say this, but last semester it went pretty well. It's not too bad. Let's get our last. Go ahead, and get our. Let's get our last point here. to the results tab. So let me okay. Yeah. Uh, 